really a pleasure to be able to speak to you. It's been a journey this past year to get to tonight, and it is finally here. The last portion of this journey so far was I just got a lesson from Craig in how to jump around to get ready for a speech. I'm sure you guys know that any journey like this is one that would come along with very unique experiences. And one of the unique experiences that we've had in Student Reach was to present a workshop to students at an Engineers Without Borders conference called GROW, which was aimed at teaching students about global citizenship. At this conference, we were supposed to run a workshop for about 20, 25 students and to evoke somehow, talk to them about reaching their, realizing their passion as well as how to reach out. We came up with what would be called perhaps a slogan, but to us it's almost like a philosophy of reach in, reach out, reach beyond. Reach in means to reach within our hearts and find out what is it that we are all passionate about. Reaching in isn't only that, but it's also learning about ourselves. What is it that makes us look around and say, what can I do to change that? Or what song or poem or perhaps speaker or quotation is it that inspires us and fills us up within and makes us want to act? Reaching in is something that anybody at any age is capable of doing. And when you reach in, you feel it because the second step is what do I do? Reach out. Many people know that they want to do something, that they've reached in and they're passionate about something. But still, they aren't sure how to reach out. Because sometimes we think it has to be extravagant. We have to run a national campaign or work for a nonprofit. But reaching out can be done in small acts. Small acts of volunteerism, which can come in many forms. Volunteering to donate blood, Volunteering your time with a local charity. Perhaps volunteering by simple acts of kindness like opening a door for somebody that you don't know. Or simply picking up a pop can and recycling it. These are all acts of reaching out. They're all ways for you to have what you want heard, heard. Sharing your message with your friends, your peers. This is reaching out. But surely when you reach out, you're bound to face some obstacles. And this is where the notion of reach beyond. Reaching beyond means jumping those hurdles, breaking through those brick walls. But it's also about support, receiving it and giving it. Because reaching beyond is almost like a two-way street. Because when you reach beyond, you inspire others, who in turn will continue to inspire, inspire others. Reaching beyond is something that when students try to do it, sometimes they may be told, you know, try to think a little bit smaller. Perhaps that might be slightly unrealistic. Yet, I think we all witness things each and every day or in our lives that are unrealistic. Craig started Free the Children when he was only 12 years old. That's unreal. Dr. Anne-Marie Anne Zajlik in our community is nearing that goal of raising $1 million. It's unreal. Heck, the Toronto Maple Leafs won a Stanley Cup. Unreal. <laughs> now surely we didn't all witness that having been so long ago, but still, we all witness things each and every day that are unreal. We are here today seeing something that perhaps is unreal. Reaching beyond continues into the notion that sometimes you need to strive for what is unrealistic. Because all these things that have been done that are unreal weren't done because someone said, oh, I can achieve that. It's because they were driven, motivated, dedicated to achieving what people may have thought was unrealistic. A teacher of mine not too long ago showed a group of us a video. And it was a video of Dr. Posh giving what is called his last lecture. And the last lecture, he explains, is an academic tradition that a professor will give when he or she knows it is their last lecture. Dr. Posh, who was diagnosed with cancer, gave his last lecture. And in this lecture, he explained how the brick walls in life are there for a reason. They aren't there to stop us or to discourage us. They are there to let us prove how badly we want something, how badly we want to reach beyond.
One time, about a year ago, my co-op supervisor at Rogers Television reached beyond by trusting me and giving me the responsibility of interviewing someone who I admired. Now, as a student, this wasn't a task that would be typically put on me, but it was something she trusted me with. And in this interview, I asked this man, at a young age, what does it feel like to receive recognitions that are prestigious and awards that are world-renowned? And he explained to me that he appreciated each and every single one of them. But he did tell me that it wasn't the reward or award that made him feel so proud, but the true reward was the act that he had to do to receive it. You see, it was getting his hands dirty, making a difference, and seeing the difference in the lives of children around the world that inspired him and made him feel proud. Today, I have the honor to introduce to you someone who, at the age of 12, captured the entire world's heart. At the age of 12, he redefined what it means to be a student and a young person, and he redefined what it is that a student is capable of doing, or what is realistic. He is now 25 years old, and his organization is responsible for building over 500 schools around the entire world, educating over 40,000 people each and every day. He is somebody who will be on Oprah, or within the media, and he is on Oprah on May 26, but he is also someone who is as down to earth as one could possibly be. It is someone who I believe has and will continue to reach in, reach out, and reach beyond. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Craig Gilbert.